So when I think of caregivers, I think of, you know, caring for others is throughout all of scripture, Old Testament, New Testament. Because I'm thinking of Matthew, the Lord saying, I was hungry and you fed me. I was thirsty. You gave me something to drink. I was sick and you cared for me. So certainly from a biblical perspective, caregiving is part of who we are and designed to be a great good, um, not only for the one that's being cared for, but for the caregivers that should some way, shape, or form um, give us life, which doesn't deny the difficulty of it, but when it becomes only draining, when it's separating us from the good more than drawing us to it, and we're not able to feel that life-giving coming up within us, then it's, it's somehow it's not being addressed right. Somehow we're not supporting those who are in the mix, midst of that day in and day out properly. And um, I was a minister of care at the hospital for about 20 years. I just went once a month. And there were times when I would could spend some time with a caregiver, a family member typically who was in the room. And they were just so appreciative of having somebody come to visit not only their loved one, the patient, but also to spend time with them and just pick them up, pray with them a little bit, listen to them. They were so appreciative of it. Unbelievable how much that uh, just made them feel special and cared for. And I used to think, what the heck is going on here? Why do they are they so appreciative about some stranger coming in for 15 minutes or 20 minutes, whatever it might be, it might only be five minutes. What is going on with that connection? There's something very deep, something very life giving. And when we can address each other in our times of need and uncover that beautiful, loving things happen. And so I know Nourish for Caregivers is designed to and trying to reach into that space. That's why I'm involved.